Among the numerous safety hazards found on farms, rotating power takeoff shafts, more commonly known as PTO shafts, are one of the most dangerous settings operators and bystanders can find themselves in, especially for those who may be unfamiliar with farm equipment and tractor safety. Because of the numerous severe injuries and even fatalities caused by PTO accidents, emphasis on safety demonstrations have been placed on agricultural education settings. This year we decided to focus on PTO entanglements primarily because of the severity of injury that can occur from them. And oftentimes when you're at the farm, you know, maybe if you have a family member or someone helping out, it's not only just injury to you, it's potential injury to others that are around you as well. Dr. Perry, an agricultural education professor at Montana State University, is out in the field today preparing and directing a tractor safety demonstration designed to educate middle and high school ag education teachers on how to create their own engaging, yet safe, tractor and implement safety demonstration. Here's what we can observe from this field day. The purpose of this grant is to train high school ag teachers in safe tractor behavior and safe tractor operation in hopes that they can then take some of this curriculum and lessons learned and experiences back to their local agriculture education programs and with the ultimate goal of influencing youth behavior and trying to teach our students, teach our youth how to operate tractors and farm machinery in a safe manner. First, a demonstration area was set up, with safety as the number one priority. When setting one of these up, Dr. Perry kept the following in mind. When selecting and connecting the PTO implement, it was made sure that the PTO shaft had a proper shield and guards in place. It's also essential to double check that the PTO driveline is properly locked onto the stub shaft of the tractor. When setting up the demonstration area, a secure no zone surrounding the active PTO area was designated. Ideally, a barrier, such as a fence, should be placed a certain distance away from the PTO shaft to prevent participants from getting too close. Before bringing in others, Dr. Perry performed a test run the day before to make sure that the demonstration area was safe for spectators to watch. Before the demonstration started, all spectators were supplied with safety glasses and ear protection for the demonstration. Safety was clearly stated as the number one priority and that everyone should be extremely cautious during the demonstration. Assistants were given very clear and specific instructions on what to do prior to the demonstration. We want to show that it is a demonstration that should be taken very seriously. You really need to do your homework before you try to do one of these. The tractor was left shut down with the key removed from the ignition until it was time to engage the PTO. And after the entanglement, the PTO was immediately disengaged, engine shut down, and the key was removed from the ignition. Let's go ahead and watch a PTO entanglement demonstration in action. wrapped in there extremely tight. There's really zero chance of survival on that, you know, to be honest, and that was like me ready to just kill it. So you can't even hardly move this PTO shaft anymore. While on the subject of PTO safety, Dr. Perry recommends including the following guidelines in the safety presentation. One, never under any circumstance walk over a spinning PTO shaft. Two, Always keep PTO components shielded and guarded. Regularly test driveline guards to make sure that they don't stick to the shaft. Three, always disengage the PTO and shut down the tractor before cleaning, servicing, or adjusting machinery. Four, always use a driveline recommended for the machinery it will be running, and never swap out drivelines with others from different machines. Five, a tractor should always be adjusted properly to accommodate the current driveline, so that stress is not placed on it during tight turns, and so that the driveline components cannot separate. And six, additional maneuvers such as slow and steady engagement of the PTO, making sure the PTO slip clutches have not been over tightened, avoiding unnecessary sharp turns, and avoiding excessive telescoping of the driveline can all help reduce the stress of the PTO assembly. 
In addition to the PTO entanglement safety demonstration, Dr. Perry also went over a few related subjects such as personal protection equipment during the same field day. Banana's done. We demonstrated PPE through the use of a drop test. We have a weighted round stock piece of metal that we can put into an enclosed area to demonstrate different impacts and how our PPE protects us and keeps us safe. Engagement is key when organizing a safety demonstration, particularly when working with middle and high school students. You know, as much as we would love everybody to love learning about safety, it's not always the most exciting thing. So we try to find engaging ways to catch their interest. This is also why it is recommended that participants get some hands-on experience driving a tractor and implement through a pre-planned course. In Dr. Perry's group, participants learned basic hand signals as a means for an observer to safely communicate with the operator when using a front-end loader. With increasing enrollment in programs such as FFA, ag education instructors are in a valuable position to share the importance of safety of farm equipment operation with middle and high school students. By following the guidelines previously covered, these instructors can put together a safe, yet engaging tractor and implement safety demonstration. Special thanks to the High Plains Intermountain Center for Agricultural Health and Safety for making this video possible. To learn more about the Ag Safety Education Initiative, check out their website.